In this project, we will build a prototype of a digital taxi fare meter using Arduino and speed sensor. This project calculates the speed and distance traveled by the taxi's wheel using the LM393 speed sensor. The LCD display will display the speed and distance traveled continuously. It also generates the final fare amount when we press the push button. So let's see how we can build this. Do you want professional PCBs like this one that looks so good then use the services of next PCB. You can select the board size, any solder mask color that you want including something like red and green. You can select the thickness and the PCB could be from 2 up to 32 layers for some more complex design. The finish quality is so good and if you want better connectivity, you could also select some gold finish for the pads. The ordering process is so easy. Just go to nextpcv.com then quit now. Insert your design setting, upload your cover files and order now. And receive the PCV in a couple of days. The components needed for this project are Arduino Nano Board. You may use Arduino Uno Board. I used a 16 x 2 LCD display with I2C adapter module. This is the speed measuring sensor based on an optical sensor and LM393 IC. A DC motor is required attached to the wheel. This is the allotted speed encoder with 20 slots. This is used to speed sensors and motors. A push button switch is also required as well. This is a ULN2003 Darlington pair IC used for driving the motor. A 220 ohm resistor. A 10K potentiometer is used for changing the speed. Let's see the circuit diagram now. The LCD is connected to I2C pins A4 and A5. The speed sensor and push button is connected to D2 and D3. For the demo, I have only connected the single motor to the ULN2003 output which is controlled via the D8 pin of Arduino. And for changing the speed, a 10K potentiometer is connected to analog pin A3 of Arduino. This is the final hardware of the project. I have used a robotic car base to show you the demo. In this car, four motors and wheels are used but for the demo applications. Only one of the motors is required for measuring speed and distance. A speed sensor is connected here and fixed permanently. The slotted encoder to attach to the wheel. There is a gap between the optical part of the sensor Place the slotted encoder between the gap. This arrangement is very crucial in order to get the proper result. And regarding the hardware part, all the components are placed on the Zero PCV. The hardware combination includes Arduino Nano, LCD display, push button switch, potentiometer, etc. I am powering the entire device from the 9 volt power supply. You may use a 9 volt battery if you want the vehicle to be controlled remotely. Finally, fix everything on the board like I did using a screw. Everything related to the hardware assembly, circuit diagram and details of the components has been shared in the website article. Please visit to find out more. Let's see the code for this project now. I have used Time Run and Liquid Crystal I2C LCD Library, which I2C address is 0 cross 27. Some of the variables for counting and speed measurement are defined here. In the setup part, we defined the input and output pin and also initialize the LCD. These lines are for measuring interrupts detected using ISR. This function counts the rotation and turns. Inside these functions, all the mathematical calculation related to speed turns RPM is done. Detailed information on mathematical calculations and formulae is used in the code has been derived and written properly on the website article. 
In this functions, we are calculating the final fare based on the distance traveled. You can sense the unit fare from the line is it is assigned currently as $0.5 per meter. Now, from the tools menu, select the Arduino Nano board and board to which it is connected to. Click on the upload button to upload the code. Finally, when the code is uploaded, it is time to show the demo. Initially, the LCD will display some messages. The current distance and speed are zero right now. To start the motor and change the speed, the potentiometer can be rotated. So, the speed in RPM is shown here. And also the distance has been calculated and is increasing. Rotate the potentiometer back to stop the rotation. There is a button to check the fare. Press the push button so that the fare will be displayed. It is displaying $42.55 now based on the distance traveled. You may set your own fare. Let's see the demo again by rotating the potentiometer. Then again rotate it back after a while. When it completely stopped, press the push button. The fare is displayed again. That is all from the project part today. The complete project details including device information, purchase link, source code and written guide can be followed in the How to Electronics website article. In case you have any other questions, you can comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.